Also new tonight, we've learned the incentives given out to film and TV crews to shoot in Rhode Island is actually costing the state a lot of money. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live with the details new at 6. Steve? You, the taxpayer, have given out at least $84 million since 2005 to build a local film industry in Rhode Island. A new state analysis suggests you may not be getting your money's worth. Since 2005, your tax dollars have helped lure several movie productions to Rhode Island, like Woody Allen's Irrational Man and a Purge sequel shot at the State House. They tapped the state's film tax credit, which is taxpayers cover up to 25% of the cost of making a movie or TV show in the state. The goal is building a local film industry. Yet a new report by state economists finds Rhode Island loses an average of $1.8 million a year in revenue through the program and says the credits have not achieved a lasting stable motion picture industry. State Rep Teresa Tanzi pushed for the review of tax credits across the state. I mean, no one in their right mind would start a business and let it go for 10 years, 30 years without reviewing it and without analyzing it. And as a state, we have to do the very same thing. She says it would be appropriate to have hearings at the state house. You know, there's just a number of opportunities to make it stronger or to discontinue it even. Got our local crew. Stephen Feinberg with the RI Film and TV office defends the credits, saying in a statement, the results of our investments go beyond tangible benefits. The arts provide community enrichment, education, and a platform for innovation. Incentivizing movie makers to film here continues to serve as a unique way to tell the Rhode Island story through art. And the study also finds that many productions are violating state law by failing to file required follow-up reports. Right now on our website, WPRI.com, Ted Nisi explains how Rhode Island's program compares to other New England states. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.